Come sit in the circle. The pixies are real. Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we are looking at another instrument which I have no experience with. Why do people keep coming back to these videos just to watch me fail at playing instruments? But hey, we're here today to do it all over again. And this time we're checking out these kalimbas? Kalimbas. I think that's what it's called. Kalimba. It sounds about right. These are an African instrument, which I had never really heard of, but I had seen on the internet every now and then with someone playing it well. And it's a beautiful, beautiful instrument. You're not going to hear that today. You're going to hear someone absolutely slaughter this thing in an attempt to play it beautifully. So today we've got two kalimbas on hand. We've got a 10 prong one. Is it even called prong? Is, that, is it prong? Is that even the right term? A kalimba, otherwise known as a thumb piano. There we go, that'd be a good one. Metal tines? Tines or prongs or teeth? So I go with prongs, that's the words I know. We've got a 10 prong one here and a 17 prong one. The 10 one's meant to be easier to play. The 17 one is meant to be for more experienced players. I think I might have to stick with the 10 prong, but we might as well look at the 17 while we're here. Now these are sent to us by a company called Moogig. They make these things. This is not a paid promotion. They just sent us these because they thought we might want to check them out which is true we did i've never seen them before and i'm always up for slaughtering instruments on film so let's start with the 10 prong one here simple packaging fold out and i don't know where to start okay we've got the silica gel and then a tiny hammer slash ice pick what am i meant to do with that hopefully there's instructions a little letter from moogig we're committed to meeting the needs of musicians providing quality products and service support thank you for choosing moogig you're welcome. And then we've got a little introduction booklet. What's the pick for? I need to know. We need to the tuner to help us finish the tuning. Right. And then some directions of how to tune it. Caring. Fixing a buzz. Whatever that is. And they've even got a few basic tunes to help you learn the instrument. Jingle bells. Oldie to joy. Amazing grace. Row, row, row your boat. The ever so creepy are you sleeping? You've then got a pouch to store your kalimba in. And then finally for the kalimba itself. And... Here it is. That is a smart looking instrument. It's just, it's really basic, but it just looks pretty. Like there's no over the top packaging. The product itself isn't over the top. It's just discreet and nice. Stained wood finish. And on the inside here, just around the sound hole, is that what it's called? Sound hole? Sounds so wrong. And it's even got a few engravings around the sound hole right there. It just says Moogig. So a bit of branding in there. But it looks nice. It's very discreet. There's not much to it. Now, without actually knowing how to play this thing just yet, let's go ahead and twing a few prongs and see what sounds we can make. It's quite nice, really, isn't it? It's very quaint. It's the sort of thing I can imagine you see a load of hippies sitting in the forest playing. Come, sit in the circle. The pixies are real. I think for the best effect, you really have to use your nails. You kind of have to use them as a plectrum. So each prong on here has the note on it. And then it also corresponds with a number. So it can help you learn songs which are in the book. So you can follow the book along note by note. And you should be able to learn a tune. So I think we're going to have to give this a go. Well, that was pretty simple. And I think that's actually the only song I've ever actually played on an instrument on this channel. Wow. Even if it was just Twinkle Little Star, I actually played a song. And it sounded nice. And it sounded nice. This is a milestone I thought I'd never get to on this channel, but it's finally happened. I've played a song. So obviously we picked the simplest song on here, but there actually are quite a few songs on here and some of them do get fairly complicated. And I say complicated, I mean, I can't play them. Anyone who's actually a competent musician might be able to play these quite easily. But it's quite a nice pick up and go instrument. Obviously no cables, no electricity, no nothing. Just pick it up and play it. And it sounds great. And on this channel, we've seen some fairly rough sounding instruments to say the least. So believe me when I say this actually sounds pretty damn nice. Then again, I said the automaton sounded good. People don't usually agree with that. So that was the 10 prong kalimba. So let's go ahead and move on to the 17 prong kalimba. This one for beginners, 
this one for not so beginners. Definitely, definitely not for me. So this one's got the same type of box as the last one. Just peel back and inside we've got a book, I'm guessing full of songs and words, pretty much. But it goes into a little bit more detail to the point where I don't know what I'm looking at. Ah, this is more my steam. So we've got the songs on here with the notes, but it's not numbered. And then a few other bits in there. So there's your basic manual. And we've got the carry bag again. We've got the notes and the numbers to stick onto it as well. So I guess this is so you can get a grasp of which note is which. And then when you've gotten really good at it, you take off the stickers and then you look like you know what you're doing. I don't think I'm gonna to get to that point. And we've got another tuner and the kalimba. I think I prefer the dark wood of the other one, but it still looks neat. You've still got the engraving around the sound hold there with the Mugig logo. The 10 key one over here, just like maybe half an inch smaller. Also the prongs themselves are quite a lot thinner on this one, there is more of them. so. I can see why this is your beginner one much easier to play. So as I said, this one does come with a tuner as well, but if it's anything like the last one, I don't need to worry about it. It sounded pretty good out of the box. So I'm not even gonna mess with that because I'm only going to mess it up. So without further ado, let's go down the scale on this and see how it sounds. I'm definitely gonna mess this up because these prongs are way smaller. bit sloppy but you get the idea. I think this one is definitely for you intermediate players out there. I know you exist but if you're like me and you have pretty much no idea how to play this thing and you want to start somewhere the 10 prong is the one for you. It still sounds great. You're really not missing out when it comes to sound. They both sound amazing but that one is just fairly easier to play. The prongs are bigger, the notes are laid out for you already, much easier to get used to and get started playing with kalimbas. But all in all I am just impressed by these little things. I mean come on it's just a little wooden box with some metal prongs on it, but it sounds amazing. Thank you, Africa. You can pick these up on Amazon. The 10 prong one is about 25 pounds, which is like 30, 35 dollars. And the 17 prong one is about 40 pounds. So you're looking to spend about 50 dollars around there, which at first may seem like quite a lot for what is a wooden block with some metal prongs on it. But what you're getting is actually a very sophisticated musical instrument. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. If you like this video, hit like. If you really like this video, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We post channel updates on there and some bonus content. So feel free to follow us on there if you so desire. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. There's always a way. <laughs> <laughs>